Hi, Cancer. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. And this is your three card reading for the week of January 10th through the 17th. Please like, subscribe, share, press the bell for notifications. I'm offering 30 minute readings for $30. I also offer IET, which is Integrated Energy Therapy. The information is below. Um, it helps you to um, move energy and transform energy into um, more useful energy. It's all about change. It's all about change. Okay. Um, additionally, if you like my t-shirt or my artwork, um, you can visit my website, which is ripecolor.com. Links are below. I appreciate all your support, especially the people who comment consistently. I really appreciate it. Okay. One more shuffle and away we go. If I don't look down while I shuffle, <laughs> the reading will never come out. One goes that way, one goes that way. Okay. Cancer. One, two, three. Okay, this is really interesting. You get the first and the last. So this is the zero. This is, he's almost like, he almost isn't even aware yet. All he knows is like he has high hopes. He's ready to take a leap of faith. And then you get the world, which is the last, the last card in the deck. And this is really about completion and like completing a, an entire cycle and beginning anew. So this could be like a whole new, right? Because this is both complete, completing and beginning. This is the beginner, the, the starter, I should say. And then you get this card. So this card is really about, I mean, it, you know, yes, it looks like he's walking away. And in fact, he had, he is, and he has, and whatever. But I always feel like he's off to his quest. He's off to a spiritual quest. Like there's, his soul is guiding him toward where he needs to be. Like, it, it's like his cups were already full, right? And there's a certain awareness. And what he's aware of is that there's more. What he's aware of is like his soul's calling, what he feels he must do. Uh, you know, and it could be like a, a spiritual thing. It could be an emotional thing. And it's not like the situation that you're leaving is a bad situation. It's not like, oh, I got to get out of town. It's like, I want more. I want more. So where am I going to find more? I, I think it's that way. And, you know, it's the journey, not the, the destination anyway. So, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes people end up getting a degree or, you know, they have in their head, well, I want to be, uh, I don't know, a physicist. This is not the example I usually use. But uh, I want to be a physicist, then you go and you enroll, right? And you start taking those classes. And in the middle of it, it's like, I think I want something else. Yeah, like, it's like that. But the things that you learned in the early classes on the way toward your physics de degree, which you end up not getting, are very valuable it's very valuable. You know, sometimes you're in a job or something and, uh, or in a relationship and you're like, what the hell am I doing here? You know, and a relationship doesn't have to necessarily be like a love relationship. Sometimes it's a, you know, could be business, could be a uh, friendship or situation. You go, what am I doing here? And then, you know, three months later or three years later, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. I learned that. Yeah. I got that. 
I have that experience. I know what to do with it. I know how to uh, interact with it. I know what I've learned from it. But I feel like there's a, a higher calling for you and you know what it is, or you have an inkling of what it is and you're heading toward it. And I say, go for it. I so say, go for it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna name the little video. You should go for it. You know, what's the thing that will fulfill you? That's what you should go for. And, um, you know, God bless you. It's exciting. It's, a, it's kind of an exciting reading. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>